working on making my knit holiday bags. And what I did was I cast it on first with some waste yarn. This is just some extra yarn from another bag. And um, then I just kind of loosely tied it on. And then I'm going to knit a total of 45 rows with my liner yarn. I'm using Pound of Love by Lion Brand. And I have my yarn in the first hole for tight tension. Okay, so now I'm here at my last round and I'm going to trim my yarn. Oops, make sure that's under that hook. So I just cut my yarn and I'm going to be tying on my new yarn. I'm using Fisherman's Wool for the main body of my bag. And um, for this, I'm just going to loosely tie this on because I'm going to actually go through later and tighten it up so that kind of helps with. Um, making sure that I don't have a seam that kind of jogs over. So I just loosely tie that on. I'm going to put it under the hook and I am also going to be um, working with this one in the first um, hole tightest tension. So I just kind of like to go through. For the main outside color of the bag, you're going to want to continue um, cranking until you get to 110 rounds. So now I just did 110 rounds and I'm going to now pull my yarn. I need pretty long yarn for how we're going to be finishing off the bag. So my tail needs to be pretty long. I don't know, maybe 30 inches or so, maybe 40. I don't know. It's really long. And how I like to cast off is I actually use the circular needles. So I'm going to use the first. Um, for this, you want to have two circular needles because you're going to need one for the bottom of the bag too. And I just take it. Um, when I do the casting off of the machine, I like a circular needle that has a really long um, cable. So I like to just kind to, of do a few stitches at a time. And I just take my needle starting with pin one and I just go like this. So now we have our tube and we have our long cabled um, circular needle on the top. That's the, going to be the top and this is the bottom of the bag. And so what you want to do is you want to take where your waste yarn meets your um, thing and you just kind of want to roll it in because we're going to actually fix our seam here which actually it's not too bad but it's a little bit jogged and I find that if you just kind of pull the yarn you want this stitch here just to kind of pull in it fixes your seam for you and helps it line it up and then you can um, so I just pulled it just slightly and then I loosely tied this on so now I'm gonna untie my yarn and retie it back and I like two square knots so I'm just going to tie that a bit. And I like to use it like just about an inch or so. And then when you go through, you'll see you've got a straight seam there. The bag, and we're going to get rid of this waste yarn. So we're going to go to where our stitches meet here. And we want to pick up all of these stitches. And I like to do it from the inside because you can see the loop really easily. That's where the loop is. And we're going to pick up all these stitches and transfer them um, onto our circular needle. So now I have my waste yarn off and my um, stitches are all on my needle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to pull up this liner so that it meets the top of the bag. So I'm going to take, and you'll see why you don't want it to have such a long tail, is we're going to do like a kind of a knitting bind off where 
which is a little tricky because I, I'm a continental um, style knitter, so this might be easier for me to do because of that. Um, for some of you, it might be a little tricky at first, depending on how it is that you hold um, your yarn and your needles. But since I hold my yarn in my left hand when I knit, this is um, pretty comfortable and easy to do. But what you're going to do is you're going to knit the two stitches from each of these needles here together. So then now you have one stitch here. You're going to do that a second time. You're going to knit these two together. And then you're going to take this stitch, the first stitch, and pass it over. So just like a bind off. And you're going to do that until you have no more stitches left. On, on what you'll end up with one stitch and then you'll pull the yarn through. So we're going to knit these two stitches here together. So I'm now I'm back here at the beginning and I have just my last four to go. I think the um, this is a little bit of an awkward way to do a binding off, but it really ends up with a very nice um, and easy way for you to seam your bag. Um, so it's worth giving it a try and practicing. <laughs> so that works. And so now I'm back at the beginning. I'm gonna pull my yarn through. And you still want to have a long tail because now we're going to inside it out and you'll see you get this really nice um, guide here of the stitches and you're actually just going to follow that and stitch along right underneath it to um, seam the bag. Okay and so you're going to use that same yarn tail and I use um, a darning, I think actually I think this is a tapestry needle, it's a big needle. Um, metal needle and I just fold it in half so that the part where I tied in that's the end of the bag there the, you know, separates the bag and um, so I start there and I just weave in and out right um, along this seam here it's just the perfect seam and I just kind of go back and forth through the stitches and I do the other end I just go back one more time and so I don't know how necessary it is it's just for me I like um, being able to tie all my strings together at the same end so I just go back okay so now I'm back here at the beginning and I'm just going to um, tie a couple knots here to make sure that it's really the knot and then you're gonna actually leave the bag inside out you want to kind of pick what you think is going to be the front of your bag this I think is going to be my front and I have some ribbon that I've cut and I'm going to um, weave it in using this line as my guide and I just kind of put it up here I go from the bottom up because then that's gonna allow it to be and I just I eyeball it what I think is the middle and I just use this as my guide and I just do every two stitches okay and when you get back to the beginning you want to make sure that you put your string uh, sorry you, you weave your ribbon in next to and go down towards it so that it comes out the front of your bag Thank you. 